Well, a push on Beacon Hill to provide more access and better care for people living with disabilities. It's called Operation House Call, and advocates want to teach the next generation of medical professionals about treating people with special needs. Hey, sweetheart. Oh. 28-year-old Lauren Rico needs constant care. She's in a day program at the Ark of South Norfolk where staff meet her medical needs. But early on in Lauren's life, her family had a hard time finding basic care for her. These are the things that kind of stick with me. Um, do you really want me to clean her teeth? Um, I've had um, a, a provider say to me, just can't you get her up on the scale? To be really honest, I cried afterwards. It's the same story for hundreds of Massachusetts families navigating the complexities of medical access. This man just pointed at me and he said, you ought to have to get a muzzle on that thing. And, you know, my heart dropped out. Mara Sullivan remembers the pain of an emergency room visit with her son, Neil who's living with autism. It's helped fuel her work at the Ark of Massachusetts to pass a medical training bill on Beacon Hill. Sullivan says there aren't enough doctors willing to take on patients with disabilities. We're finding out is that they just don't feel equipped, that they just don't feel like they've been trained. That's where Operation House Call comes in. The bill would fill a gap, training medical and nursing students before they're out in the field. It allows doctors to actually have an experiential component. They go out and meet with families and they spend time learning about what life is really like living with autism or living with other disabilities. Janet Rico says she's seen it work firsthand with her daughter Lauren. Her primary care doctor came to the house yesterday from Marlboro to see her with the medical students. And I said that's the thing that just makes me so excited that there's really people that really want to make a difference. So right now, five medical and nursing schools in the area are teaching these kinds of classes, but about 4,000 medical professionals have been trained with more than 700 just this year alone. The next step would be creating a program for medical professionals who are already out there in the field.